Good evening. It's Quant Trade Edge, and I just wanted to follow up on the NASDAQ setup from today. As you know uh, from this morning's video, we said that this setup bar was acceptable because it had this little bit of a trap, and taking out the high of that bar is essentially a 2B type pattern where you're confirming the trap. And when we were looking at it this morning, we found this hourly uh, hoagie that broke yesterday's high at uh, 2 a.m. and then spent one, two, three, four hours completely inside of it before it broke higher uh, and gave us the little pullback that we look for. So there was not clean structure in that pullback to uh, do our typical ABC, uh, you know, two legs down. And the hoagie itself was pretty large, but here's something really interesting. When we broke out at 7.50 in the morning, we got this one bar consolidation. And, uh, you know, for those of you that have been watching the channel for a while, you know, we call this the bald man pattern. Shout out to Jared Wesley of Live Traders. He's bald. And this is one of his favorite patterns that he uh, talks about a lot. He calls it the uh, two or the three bar um, pattern. And uh, I call it the bald man pattern. And what this allows you to do is set a much tighter stop. By the time this bar, you know, it's eight o'clock bar was heading up to take out 1261, you could set your stop below the low of this two, three bar pattern, which was 12, uh, 8, 52, 25, basically a nine point stop, you know, call it 10 points to, to make it easy. But basically from this 12, 8, 61, we got to 12, 9, 32. So that's about seven, seven R. Uh, here of your 10 points and then it pulled all the way back down and notice where it stopped It stopped shy of taking out That pattern So if you had gotten out you could have reloaded if you had just uh, you know held the whole way it went even higher later in the day to a peak of 12,994 just shy of 13,000 and let's put rectangles on this just so you can, uh, you know, visualize the asymmetry here. This was the stop. And just in the morning, that would have been 7R. To high of day, it would have been 13R. And that's, again, what we are trying to do. And notice that this isn't just any... Uh, pattern setting up, right? Every day there could be you know, bald man pattern setups everywhere. But the reason this one gave us such asymmetry is on the daily candle, we had a good setup bar. We took out that high on the hourly candle. And then we basically had a four hour hoagie, or almost a five hour hoagie that broke out on the five minute chart. You know, this is the five hour hoagie in this big rectangle here. That's our little bit of risk and the bald man pattern. So recognizing this pattern helped get a lot more asymmetry than just using this hourly hoagie risk bar. Using that hourly hoagie risk bar all the way to the top would have been about three R. Because uh, actually the hourly hoagie started somewhere down here. So the hourly hoagie was twice as big as the little rectangle consolidation here, right? This rectangle is only about half of what the hourly hoagie was. So, you know, really depending on how you measured your risk, you know, you could have used the rectangle as your risk, in which case you would have gotten 6R. If you used the hourly hoagie as your risk, you would have gotten 3R. If you use this five minute bald man pattern, as your risk, you would have gotten 13 R. So, uh, just different ways to look at it. And, you know, there, there's a handful of 
patterns that we typically see on this breakout. A hoagie is one, the ABC pullback is another. This bald man pattern is a lot more rare. Um, I can only remember seeing it a couple of times. Uh, it doesn't even really make it to my notes as typical setups. Uh, you know, the hoagie and the, the two-legged pullback are the, are the primary ones. So just, uh, you know, showing you how that trade played out and also just opening your eyes to the goal, which is finding patterns to lean on to create asymmetry in returns uh, on, on each dollar that you risk. So anyway, hope uh, you had a good day and talk to you later.